Welcome back everybody to The Writer Reads Chapter 1. This week's chapter we're reading from Mac and Me, The Transporter's Favour. Uh, we will start with Chapter 1, Abby. I'd been out of the tank a scant two days when Abby came for me. By now I was glad I'd left Kirkavall far behind, and with it the Arak. I was still having nightmares. Doc was recommending a program of desensitisation and I was having none of it. Mac and I had taken it to the mats. Of course we had. I was a lot fitter than the first time I faced Mac on the mats, and I had a lot more combat time under my belt too. This time I got to the end of the first round, and we'd had to call it a draw. I guess that's why there was a best of three rule. I wasn't doing so well on the second round. Mac was fighting dirty, as usual. So was I. The trouble was that Mac had been fighting dirty for a lot longer than I had. I stepped out of the way of a foot strike that would have taken my head off if it had hit, and went to go for his open torso, only to feel his other hand come under the first and grab my collar. The foot hook and sweep that ended with me going over backwards and Mac coming down on top of me was an unwelcome surprise, but not quite as unwelcome as the sudden flare of light that separated me from anything that was not me. I wound up in Abby's cabin without a stitch of clothing, landing hard on her plaz steel flooring, too surprised to say anything. I could only imagine what Mac was saying. I rolled coming fast to my feet and going for cover which wasn't there. Don't make me gas you, came in a distinctly remembered accent. I backed up to a wall and set my back against it. Clothes are not to be overrated. What the fuck? And that's enough of that, she said. You don't remember me? Now that she mentioned it. No, should I? I mean, I didn't know who the hell she was. Why would I care if I upset her? I really wanted a pair of pants and a shirt about now. For all I knew, the voice belonged to some guy using a voice synth while enjoying the view. AI, transporter, got you out of a very nasty place a while back. You do owe me a favour, you know. Well, there was only one person who was all of that, and who I owed a favour to. Abby? Memories of Abby were both good and bad. On the one hand, she had got me out of a very bad place. On the other, she had also been going to auction my location to the highest bidder until she sold me out to Odyssey and Mac so they could rescue me. I still wasn't sure how I felt about that. I owe you a favour? You surely do. Well, I knew that. I just wanted to see if she knew it too. More than you realise, I've been saving this one up. You know Mac will tear the universe apart to find me. Honey, I'm very much counting on it. She was? I am. I sighed. And there you are in my head again. Where else would I be? I looked around the small cabin and knew she'd ported me in behind the cockpit. Abby wasn't that big a craft. She was nimble though and fast. I figured even Tens was going to have trouble tracking us. Not with what that boy has put in your head, Abby told me. He is very good at what he does. I wonder if Mac would part with him. I doubt it. Those two? Don't give me that child. I know more about Mac than... She stopped. Then never you mind. I huffed out another sigh and pushed off the wall. You going to tell me what happened to my clothes? I demanded. I was fond of those boots, damn it. Psh, you'll get your boots back. It shouldn't take your Mac more than three days to get here, and by then you should be up to speed. Not without my knickers, I'm not. I could always turn up the heating. Not the same thing. You humans and your skin shyness. Don't tell me you don't remember what that's like. Honey, it's been too long. Closest I can get to it is imagining myself cut down to a chip instead of inside this magnificent machine. She paused, her voice curling with distaste when she continued, and I'd really rather not. So what did you do? What, to get you naked? Well, I wasn't sure what kind of situation you'd be in given just how possessive your Mac is, and I didn't want an extra passenger until we'd had time to talk. 
my Macca. I ignored it and pushed her to continue. And? So I keyed the teleport to your DNA and grabbed you that way. I leant back against the wall, my mind not entirely grasping it, and then I checked my implant. How come I've still got... I included it. You couldn't have just included my clothes, too. Okay, now I was starting to sound like a whiny brat. I didn't like sounding whiny. Mind you, I didn't like being without my clothes either, and I mean I really didn't like being without my clothes. Panel on your right, Abby said. Should be just your size. It should? Okay, then. I found the panel and dug out the combat fatigues and boots, underwear, and that looked armoured, and socks, which didn't. What kind of favour is this anyway? I asked, holding up the underwear. One where you'll need those, Ab snapped back. Now, quit your whinging and get dressed. Fine, whatever. I got dressed, pausing when I got to the boots. You remembered, I said, noting the knife sheath in each. I pulled them on. And they're a perfect fit. You want me to tell Mac that the way to your heart is through a good pair of boots? She snarked back, and I shook my head. No way was I going to tell her that I thought he'd already figured that out. She picked it up anyway. Ooh, sweetie, you have it bad. Don't go there, Abs. And then, because I figured we should get down to business, what do you need me for? Someone's stolen one of my brothers. I just stayed where I was, leaning against the wall and turning her words over in my head. Her brothers? As in, not her sisters? As in, there was more than one AI and she was related? And it had been stolen? So, not just kidnapped, which meant someone had nicked the entire ship body with the AI inside. I wondered if she had any ideas who. No. Well, that answered that then. You got a name? Also some details on your business and what he was supposed to be doing when you worked out he was gone? If you just want in to my files? You want my help? And I thought you were one of the better retrieval artists out there. Abs, I'm one of the best. Just ask Mac. As soon as I'd said it, I regretted it. Abby was without mercy. He's biased. Abby? Well, he is. I'd be surprised if you two hadn't... Abby, we haven't. It's not like that. Oh no, the man just tears the universe apart for all his staff. Right up until she'd said it, that had been exactly what I'd believed. After all, those were Max's conditions. He let you off the Shady Marie, but you came back when he called. Or he'd come fetch you. You mean he doesn't? Abby giggled, and the sound jangled along my nerve endings. Not everyone, hon. Last gal he chased every time she left was Marie, and they parted on good terms in the end. No blasters involved. The man doesn't like to let go, and neither did she. They sorted it out in the end. The way she said it, Mac had had something real special with Marie. Had to disagree that we had anything at all, let alone something as special as that. I sighed. I'm just crew abs. I like it that way, and so does Mac. Sure, hun. You keep telling yourself that. The man won't wait forever. He doesn't have to wait, Abby. There are plenty of other girls out there. If one of them can grab his attention, they'll have a catch for life. I pushed away the vague feeling of depression that crept through me and went back to business. Even the best can't work in a data sit vacuum, or do you want me to hack your systems? No, sweetie, I prepared your access earlier. Hand it over. She did, and I took the link and skirted its edges, letting myself slide down the wall until I was sitting on the floor. Call me when it's time to eat. I'll let you know. It was all I needed, and I plunged into the data that was Desogen Transport and Security. To be honest, the scope of their operation astounded me, and it didn't take me very long to work out they were more of a loose network of allies than anything else. What tipped you off? I asked, surfacing from the log they kept of their activities. Septu's world fell. Septu? My brother. He specialised in planetary security. When the reports came through, we knew he was in trouble. 
We did not expect him to be so thoroughly gone. What did you expect? We thought we would find his shell, a crash site, some evidence that he had been. I felt the AI's equivalent of a shrug. We found nothing, not the slightest trace, not even atoms. He was gone. Gone, and gone beyond the ability of a ship's high-level sensors. It made no sense. It, it is why we think he has been taken. Have you received threats, refused a client who moved against you? Yes, but we have accounted for them all. They had? Oh, yes. We suspended all contracts and hunted every last potential to the ground. We burned their lairs and cleansed their operations. We forced the underworld to realign and start a new world order. We did not find him. I caught a glimpse of the images from that pursuit, the absolute implacability of the AIs belonging to the Desogen cartel, and I drew in a shivering breath. I'd never had a reason to fear Abs before. Now I wondered if I should. No sooner had the thought crossed my mind than she was gone, leaving an emptiness in my head, letting me know I had my privacy. You have nothing to fear me for, she said and I would not have called you if I thought you would. What makes you think you're right? I've seen the inside of your head, remember? You are more trustworthy than you know. I'm not sure Mac or Odyssey would see it that way. Mac might surprise you, and Odyssey were fools who should have known better. You behaved exactly as they should have expected, given their experience with Delight. Delight again. What was it about her and me that made so many people see a mirror between us? And Abby was smiling. I swear, if she'd had a human form and face, the smile she wore would have been as mischievous and mysterious as any I'd seen on Delight. I could never be Delight, Abby said. And I wouldn't, if I could. Yet she thought, I could? You need to eat. I brought in fresh. Uh-huh. Now who is changing the subject?